Fox Sisters here, and today we're finally going to be making Lavender Button. So the first thing we are going to do to prep this pony for customization is cut off her hair. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna save it since we might wanna use this in the future. So I'm just gonna put it off to the side and we're gonna cut off her, her tail, tail because we're gonna be uh, rehairing Lavender Button. So it's gonna be okay. We're gonna give her some new hair. She's the headless horse. <laughs> so yeah, she's the headless horse. So we finally, we got the head removed. So we're gonna remove the excess hair and make her completely bald. <laughs> it's taken a very long time, but we finally got Lavender Button all bald. So now we are going to paint her. <laughs> bald Bloom. The most important part about painting ponies whenever you're making a custom is to do it in very many layers. So as you can see that the paint I'm using is really watered down and you can see the apple bloom yellow from beneath it, but as I add more layers of this nice blue paint, the yellow is slowly disappearing and that way her coat looks smooth and even and the custom almost looks like she could have been made by Hasbro. <laughs> So for sure, layering is one of the uh, best tricks or tips that I could give any of you looking to make your own custom ponies. Just make sure that you're putting on lots of layers of paint. When doing the eyes, you always want to outline your eye shape first. So what we did is we actually outlined it in pen and then because I didn't like the way that the eyes looked I went back and I redid them. So you can see which side is the one that we stuck with and which one is the unoutlined side. So outlining your eyes before you draw them is a really big makes a really big difference. Okay so we finished painting the head. So here are her eyes and I think that so far Lavender Button is looking really cute and then here is her body of course. So now we're going to take this hair that I bought and this is the Mulberry Crush and Sugar Plum Blend. So the awesome thing about Dolly Hair is that you can order custom blends of colors. So this is actually a blend, you can see the two colors. There's Mulberry Crush and Sugar Plum and I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to twist, tie it in place, and I'm going to cut it, and then we're going to re-hair Lavender Button. <laughs> so here is Lavender Button's hair. It's the Mulberry Crush Sugar Plum Blend, and I'm going to cut it. I've twist tied it at the length that I want it to be, so just that when I cut it, it doesn't, like, fall into different clumps, I guess you could say. <laughs> and I think... What do you guys think? Do you guys like the color that we picked? Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. There's like one little piece of hair. I'm trying to break it, but I guess I should cut um, it. If you break it, you might actually like... Uh, so here is the, the hair. excess hair. There's a lot of it. And I'm just going to take that away. You and here that. is Lavender Button's hair. And now we are going to reroot her. <laughs> So we have the first plug of hair in, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to see if I can film the rehearing process so you guys can see how it goes. It's going to be a little bit harder with these filly heads, but hopefully we can still rehear her. So we finished the cutie mark and there are two lavender buttons. So here is the finished lavender button and you can see we finished rehairing her. We gave her her cutie mark and we gave her her tail and her eyes I think turned out really really cute and I just think that overall she's adorable. So we finally have lavender buttons OC. Yay! <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome. Toy Box Sisters, signing out. Finger away.